Hey friends, Trip here. Today I thought I'd give you a tour of my garage. Well, I don't really have a garage per se. I've got a storage unit. And yeah, it's not the ideal situation, but it gets the job done. So let's jump right in and take a look. And behold, before your very eyes, 2,500 square feet of motorcycle heaven. So let's get started with the bikes. Now first we've got the 09 Harley-Davidson Dyna Fat Bob. It's powered by an air-cooled, fuel-injected 96 twin-cam V-twin engine, which is roughly 1,600 cc's. It puts out 63 peak horsepower and about 92 to 93 foot-pounds of torque, and it has a reported top speed of 120 miles per hour. It also gets 42 miles per gallon, and it has a dry weight of 670 pounds. It's got a six-speed transmission, and like most all modern Harleys, it's belt-driven. I don't know if you can tell, but it has got a very cool metallic pearl black paint. It's got little metal flecks in it. Makes it look really nice. I bought this bike used. It's in perfect running order, and it doesn't have a ding, a scratch, a nick, or a chip on it. The bike is still completely stocked. It's got foot-forward controls on it. The only things I've added to the bike are a GoPro mount, a windshield, a windshield bag, and a kickstand extender. Two things that I'll be adding to the bike shortly is a swing arm bag that'll be going right in here. And of course I have to remove the uh, passenger pegs to do that. And I've got a set of chrome mustache engine guards, which of course will mount up here. And moving on down the line, I've got an 04 Harley 1200 Sportster. It's an XL 1200R, and this is the bike that I refer to as my barn find sporty. And it has an air-cooled, fuel-injected 1200cc Evolution, or Evo engine, which produces a reported 58 peak horsepower and 87 foot-pounds of torque. It's got a reported top speed of 103 miles per hour, gets 47 miles to the gallon, and has a dry weight of 533 pounds. Harley calls the cover Brilliant Silver, and this bike too is 100% stock. However, it did come with an audible alarm, a windshield, which isn't on the bike right now, a pretty badly rusted engine guard, which needs to be replaced, and for forward foot controls in addition to the standard controls which are still on the bike. It's got a five-speed transmission and it's also belt driven. And I've got a new pair of shoes to put on the bike as soon as I get around to it. Next is my 2016 Vespa GTS 300. It's actually a 70th anniversary commemorative edition. And for that year, they had a special color which Vespa refers to as Grigio Pulsar, or what I just call grayish silver. It's powered by a 300cc Quasar engine, which for its size is incredibly powerful. It puts out 21.2 peak horsepower and 16.2 foot-pounds of torque. This guy has a top speed of 80 miles an hour, and it'll comfortably do 70 to 75 all day long. And it gets an easy on the pocket 76 miles to the gallon. And this guy comes in weighing 348 pounds dry. It's got a CVT transmission, which stands for Continual Various Transmission, and it's belt-driven. Vespas are a little on the pricey side, but they come pretty well equipped. Standard on this bike are ABS brakes, a linked braking system, and ASR, which is Automatic Skid Reduction. Now on this Vespa, I've got a windshield, I've got a phone mount, I've got two USB ports there, I've got a very loud, stable Nautilus air horn, a really spacious top box on the back, which will hold a helmet and a lot of gear, chrome crash bars, and floor mats. I want you to get a look at all the storage this thing has. We open the rear seat, and we've probably got, oh, 25 liters of storage here. Take this out, the engine's right underneath. Also have a glove box with another USB port right there, and can keep my papers and whatnot in there. This thing right here turns more heads and gets more questions than any bike I've ever owned. You try doing 80 miles per hour on 12 inch wheels sometime. It's kind of crazy. And last of the four, we have my 2015 Kawasaki Vulcan S650. It's powered by a water-cooled 649cc parallel twin. And if that sounds a little familiar, it's because this engine is also in the Ninja 650. So you know it's no slouch. It's tuned to put out 61 peak horsepower or 63 foot-pounds of torque. It's got a reported top speed of 120 miles per hour and it gets 54 miles per gallon. It's got six speeds and it's chain driven. It's got ABS brakes and an absolute boatload of accessories and mods on it. What I've done is converted a sport cruiser into a bike that I can comfortably ride long distance. Now I can go 225 miles, which is about a full tank of gas worth of driving without needing to take a break or stop or stretch my legs. This bike is matte black color, which is kind of odd because I can't stand matte black colors, but I got such a good deal on it that I learned to love it. And I've got to say of the bunch, this is probably my most enjoyable bike to ride. All right, back to the rest of the garage. So what all do I actually do here? Well, obviously I park my bikes here. I work on my bikes here. 
I make a few videos here, and if it's not too hot or cold, I just sometimes hang out here. Now as we come into the unit on the left hand side, I've got my tool rack. And of course I've got both metric and standard bikes, so I keep both types of tools. Chest full of tools here, tools here, I've got some battery chargers, jumpers, I've got some uh, T-handled Allen wrenches, more tools here, I've got some sporty parts there. In Texas we drink plenty of tea, more tools. I've got some Motul up there, and I've got shop towels up on top. I've also got some camping gear in here because I love to camp. I've got a cot, I've got a chair there that I like to unfold and relax when I'm in here. There's one of the pannier bags. Moving up the left side here, I've got some various signs just to sort of uh, make the place a little bit less boring. And a lot more storage up here. Some more camping gear. I've got some uh, a new set. Well, it's actually a used set of engine guards for the sporty that aren't rusted that I'm gonna put on there. I've got all sorts of lubricants and cleaners here, paper towels, trash bags, all sorts of odds and ends here. Uh, I've got different parts, GoPro accessories, couple of spare seats, a uh, bike cover in there, and my oil pan there. And if I ever need some shade in front of the unit, I've got a little canopy I can set up. And then I've got some various oils, etc., up there on that little shelf. And I keep a little bit of spare gasoline here in the unit, but as you'll notice, it's all the way down to the floor where it's coolest and up in the corner out of the way of everything else. And coming down the right side, I've got a spare windshield here. Actually, that's the windshield that came off of the Sporty when it was laid down. It got all nice and scratched up. I found a, another one, which is right up here that I got really cheaply. I paid about 25 bucks for it. There's, of course, uh, the tires for the Sporty, which I really need to store laying down so they don't get out of round. I've got a bucket here which uh, doubles as a trash bucket and when I flip it over and put the pad on it, I can sit and use it to work on the bikes. I've got some power cables running through here and I've got all the bikes on trickle chargers. Keeps the batteries up to snuff nice and fresh. Got a little desk here which is great for relaxing. I eventually plan on doing some live streams from this desk. Now what makes it cool is it's collapsible. Just like this chair is a folding chair, it's a folding desk. I can lean it up and get out of the way. I can put another bike here or have more room to work. Got some more eye candy here. I wouldn't call the American flag eye candy, uh, but it's great to look at. Uh, I've got a Harley banner. No, I don't own Harley stock and I have no stock in Pepsi. And then coming down here, I have a lift, which I can use to work on the bikes. I've got a table, which I can unfold and sit in front of it to work on carburetors or, or what have you. And then of course, I have a fan up front and I have a fan in the back. And when I get them both going at the same time, I get some breeze in here because this place can get to be well over 100 degrees in the summer. Where does the power come from, you might ask? Well, I have to snake a power cord about 40 feet down the way. But the people here at the storage facility are pretty cool and they, they know I'm doing it and they're fine with it. So what'd you think? Motorcycle heaven, AKA trip on two wheels intergalactic headquarters. Well folks, if you've made it this far, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a like. And if you like this sort of stuff in general, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Trip on Two Wheels, asking you to ride safe and ride often.